Aloha everyone and welcome to another electro healing video. I'm your host Kay Elmer and in this video I would like to share with you my research and the story of the Lakoski multi-wave oscillator also known as the Lakoski MWL. Now uh, most of you probably never even heard of this device so before I start my story and my presentation I would like to challenge you with a simple question. Now, what would you say to me if I were to tell you that back in the 1920s, a uh, Belarusian French scientist living in Europe came up with a theory that he could cure cancer, diseases, ailments, wounds with simply electrical frequency. Not just any old electrical frequency like putting a fork in an electrical outlet, which we probably all did as killed children, but more so an oscillating frequency and not just any frequency all frequencies and what by oscillating i simply mean vibrating so you would probably say you know that's crazy because you know if wow if we knew that there was a cure for cancer oh you know that would change everything right well come along with me let's talk about the lakoski multi-wave oscillator so first of all uh it's kind of a big topic there's uh, a lot about it that i wanted to share so i've kind of organized it in this fashion uh, the first thing i want to share with you that this is georges lakoski uh, he lived from 1869 and he died in august of 1942. Uh, what i'd like to cover with you uh, in this video is uh, just an overview of of the uh, of the story of the mwo uh, and then i'd like to you know share with you a demo of the one that i own and how i use it and in that video uh, part, uh, section of the video, uh, I'll kind of go over some of the history of, of George Zaglowski's research. And then let's talk about even most importantly, right, is the biological effects of this device, um, as I just mentioned, are pretty amazing and pretty, uh, you know, unbelievable. So let's talk about the biological effects and what the research is for that. Uh, and then, you know, for those of you who are interested in this device, uh, you know, there's a possibility, there's, you know, people have built their own or you could buy one. And if you want to learn more about the Lakowski MWO, uh, then you know I'll share that with you as well. So it's kind of a complete package uh, about uh, this incredibly amazing uh, individual and device that I am just so happy to share with you today. Now I do want to have a short little disclaimer that all information contained in this video is for entertainment purposes only and should not be construed as medical advice. Okay, so with that said, the thing about the multi-wave oscillator is that George Zaklowski had a theory, and a the theory was it was that all life vibrated, all cells, even down to the chromosome, the mitochondria, and everything in our cells. And you know, the cell is you know basically has a fluid in it with everything floating around. You know, if you've seen you know pictures of microscopes, and you see cells, and it's it's liquidy in there, and that liquid is actually like seawater. Uh, it's in water in a plasma state. Um, and you know, all of that, everything, everything that makes us who we are, all of our cells. The atoms, all that, you know, are, are moving around, right? It's all moving around. You ever see a microscope? Everything's moving around, right? You know, the blood, the, all that. And all of that movement is vibration, and all of that vibration is frequency. And so back in the 1920s, that was George Lakowski's theory, that if, if things vibrated, then when they were in a healthy state, they vibrated one way, and if they were in an unhealthy state, they vibrated another. So... You know, simply using the idea of entrainment, you know, if you could just get the healthy cells to vibrate, I'm sorry, the unhealthy cells to vibrate at a healthy frequency that would be like, quote, normal for that, then they would, they would become healthy. And that's what his theory was. So he worked on it for about 10 years, uh, starting in, in the early 20s. And by the 30s, he had a working device that was literally used throughout Europe. Um, and it was uh, an, under the brand name of Kulisa. And this is the actual Kalisa machine uh, and some of the clinical photographs of that time period uh, back in the 30s uh, and in the in early 40s of this machine being deployed and used in Europe. And so it was actually all the way up until the, the 1940s and it was finally introduced in the United States uh, in the late 30s, early 40s, uh, where it started to be used here uh, by doctors and hospitals and also uh, veterinarians as well. And so it, it's an actual real thing it's a real medical you know device that was used by hundreds of doctors uh it successfully because otherwise you know how would he be able to stay in business 
um, and it was successful. So, so much so that uh, let me sh let me share with you <laughs> this really kind of cute film reel from the early '40s. Of it's kind of like back then. Remember that you know you're watching old movies, right? They they have the film reel. Uh, they didn't really have TV, uh, and so they watched film reels. That was their quote commercials. So let me go ahead and play that for you and kind of give you an idea that hey, this is this is this was a real, actual uh, you know medical protocol that was in use back in the day before most of us were even born. Here we go. At Brooklyn's all-year summer resort, the sun's curative rays are tapped in January as well as in June by this multiple wave oscillator, which concentrates electrode frequencies with much energy but little heat to play upon the delicate skin with great therapeutic results, removing wrinkles when and if found, but never disturbing a dimple. So if you found that entertaining, I, I did as well. Believe me, it was just, it's such a, a treat to see stuff from back in that time period, especially about something that, you know, is literally uh, forgotten, uh, except for a very small handful of people. And one of the things of the story of the Lacoste multi-wave oscillator is that it was uh, pretty much in use in the early 40s. And then if you notice, uh, Lakovsky, you know, passed away in 1942, and what was going on at that time. Well, 1942 was the year, the first year of the World War II. Um, and in the chaos of, of that time period, and the, in, and the entire focus of, of all of the resources of the planet going towards the you know, military and war, and especially in Europe being completely just destroyed, um, then this technology, this methodology, and the people that used it just sort of disappeared. And so by the 60s, uh, only remnants of this, of this technology and this methodology was still in use. And so along came a gentleman by the name of Dr. Bob Beck. And this guy was an engineer uh, who uh, had, you know, had a lot of patents to his name. He was an inventor. And he was actually uh, one of the individuals who was part of uh, like the, a government, uh, I forget what government body, but he was like this inspector general kind of guy who would basically, you know, uh, validate, you know, medical claims that were done by electronics because, you know, that was his thing. He was an electronics guy. And so in, in, the, in a few minutes, I'm going to share with you a testimony by Bob Beck himself that was recorded in the late 80s, around 1987, where he talks about the Lakovsky multi-wave oscillator and you got you to stick around for that. When Bob Beck talks about it, that back in 1962, you know, his team had, had evaluated this device um, and, you know, and because there were still a few around and what they discovered is just an amazing testimony. So, you know, uh, that's coming up in a few minutes. Now, the rest of the story, now that was back in the 60s, right? So it kind of got lost in the 50s after World War II. And then, of course, Bob Beck rediscovers it in the 60s. And then in the 70s and 80s, two gentlemen uh, by the name of Eric Dollard and Thomas Brown, uh, and, you know, these guys are with Borderland Sciences. They rediscover it. They start working with Bob Beck, and they start bringing this Malakowski multi-wave oscillator back into the attention, but pretty much only with the uh, the technical, you know, uh, uh, you know, people, uh, the technical folks, not necessarily with the medical. That's why you don't hear about it. You've never even heard one or seen one in any of your doctor's offices. It just doesn't exist in the medical industry. But over here with all these electronics guys, who you know, it's their, it's their hobby, they're tinkers, they're, they're inventors. And so these guys pick this thing up. They work with Bob Beck. In fact, there's a video of these guys presenting the Lakoski Multiwave Oscillator, which is where I extracted uh, Bob Beck's testimony from. It's great if you really are interested in the history of, of how this thing came back into consciousness, into our, you know, into our current day thinking, um, then, you know, this is that story. So now what happened after that, which is even the most remarkable, and this is what made it happen. This is what brought back the multi-wave oscillator into the, our commercial opportunity where you can literally go buy one now is these two guys. And then all of these gentlemen, Bob Beck, you know, uh, you know, Eric Dollar, Tom Brown. I mean, all of these people are just amazing. And I, I really want to put them in this video because if it wasn't for these five guys 
right this technology would have been lost to the to the you know to the to the black hole of history but they brought it back to life and, and because they were interested in it so now what happened in the 90s and the 2000s was these two guys now these are two electrical engineers living in in europe and is now Bruno and Sacco and Tony Carrara. Sorry, I'm going to try to pronounce. I'm sorry, Tony, if you see this. I really sorry, sorry, sorry. Uh, your last name is Kersellers. Okay, that's about as best as I'm going to do. But uh, they're with multi wave research. And what they did, they found one of these things. They found an original Kalisa multi wave oscillator from George Slakovsky's factory. They found one, I think they found three. Uh, in the basement of some, you know, retired, uh, you know, French doctor, and they they basically acquired it, and they spent years reverse engineering, studying, testing, measuring every little tiny aspect of the Kalisa original multi-wave oscillator to figure out how it worked, and they wrote the they wrote the quintessential Bible about it called Secrets Revealed. And, and if anyone is ever interested in producing these machines, uh, that is your Bible. And, 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 and in fact, you know, using it or understanding it. And so it's, it's an amazing piece of work that Bruno and Tony has, has, has brought to the world on the heels of Eric and all of these other gentlemen. And I, again, you know, I mean, I'm, I'm one of the tinkers. I'm, I'm one of the nerds that is really into bioelectrical magnetics uh, for over 20 years now. And if it wasn't for these five guys, this machine, it does some amazing stuff and wait till we get into biological effects but now the next piece i want to share with you is that's that's the history of how it came back to life in terms of uh, it's now now you know in the commercial world so what i want to talk about now is let me share with you uh my little homemade video and i i apologize i recorded it a while back just to throw up on my blog is like hey look at this um and and you know what it it's kind of a really good explanation how the machine works i recorded it on my cell phone it's not super pro professional i apologize but you know what it shows you how a multi-wave oscillator works uh all the different pieces and and you know and this is the one i own and, and the one that's sitting in my living room so let me go ahead and show you the demo and talk a little bit about the about george slaklowski himself and then we'll jump right into the biological effects uh, and go from there all right aloha and welcome to an episode of electro healing and i'm featuring today um a device that is called the Lakovsky multi-wave oscillator and if you recall from my video on electrical culture uh, where the idea of using Lakovsky coils uh, to stimulate plant growth and or plant healing uh, the same concept applied what Lakovsky did was he originally started out with plants with his uh, uh, famous geranium experiment that was quite uh, effective and then he went on to other living organisms and eventually um, he had actually developed this device here where the same concepts applied except instead of using coils very similar to this where it's just a solid coil all the way around with a gap in between which is a Lakovsky coil he created these golden mean antennas and then attached them to a pulse modulator with the same concept. Now, the, the basic theory here is that all life forms uh, vibrate at, a, at a, as a, basically a cellular harmonic. He called it an oscillation. And that oscillation, when things are ill or diseased or dead or disabled, that our cells uh, no longer resonate at the right frequency. So by using a pulse modulator such as this, a very high power, this goes up to 12 to 15,000 volts. It's got a uh, transformer in here. And basically with a spark gap in here, it creates a pulse of electricity that's then uh, transferred to this coil and then out through the antenna. And this is the transmitting antenna. That's the receiving antenna. The wire connects the two. And by doing so, between the two antennas, it creates an electrical field that's pulsating every possible frequency into the gigahertz level uh, and the reason that it pulsates is because the electricity the you know the, the signal comes out of here the pulsing comes out of the out of the coil and when it hits this, this very special antenna uh, as it hits everyone as the as the current goes through the antenna as they actually go to each single one it's like ringing a xylophone it's like bong 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 and but it's up and down the scale of every possible frequency that's being 
uh, emitted through the pulsing of the of the electricity through the coil. So that's the the general idea, and the idea that uh, people will uh, then sit in between the coils, be exposed to the electrical field and the pulsing uh, vibrations that go through their bodies, and through what I mentioned earlier, cellular entrainment, uh, it the pulsing brings the body's natural a healthy frequency up so that the body can again heal itself. Lakovsky's uh, work and all of his experiments using machines such as this, this is a replica of a multi-wave oscillator that was, it's, uh, there's uh, several people out there who are making Lakovsky multi-wave oscillators and this I would say is one of the closest replicas to the original. Uh, it meets many of the specific uh, requirements for, uh, you know, for that classification. But the idea though is that you sit in this machine or you sit between the uh, antenna and then you are able to then resonate at a, every frequency possible. It brings your body into cellular entrainment with all of the multiple healing frequencies and through that entrainment uh, your body then can heal itself and regenerate and, and basically enable and, and come back alive. Even your your, uh, your your disabled cells that you have from whether whether it's electron uh, you know uh, stealing toxic chemicals or diseases everything's running at the wrong voltage at the wrong frequency and this machine will bring you into cellular health that is the claim and if you do the studies on Lakovsky's experiments he was able to cure a lot of different problems up to and including cancer uh, and, and some of his work and the, and the results of his experimentations are just quite amazing and of course all of this was lost uh, in the 40s um, and only a few companies are actually bringing it back mainstream so how this works is uh, again this is the pulse modulator and what you've got here essentially this is of course the uh, uh, this is just a, 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 a basically a fuse but this right here is the is the pulse uh, the, the power modulator so what you've got basically coming in from the wall is 110 volt because we're in the United States and this machine and this dial right here you can dial all the way up to uh, 100 100 percent which is uh, 110 volts and then it's not recommended that you run the machine at that high and there's a <laughs> I'll show you the reason why uh, but then so normally what's recommended when using the machine is running it around 50 percent power uh, this here's the timer this is your amp meter to measure the amount of amps that's going through the antenna on an off switch and then right down here is your spark gap uh, uh, dial and you can actually increase and decrease the spark gap so the whole idea is that you know running this at 50 power and 50 spark gap you pretty much will get what is like the normal treatment band you know and then you can crank it all the way up and get a much larger uh, spark that's going on inside the box with the fan blowing uh, and also a higher power but it's really not recommended to run the machine at that uh, level of, of power and output for too long because the whole problem, <laughs> the challenge, it's not a problem, but the challenge is when you turn this thing on, and I'll show you in a second, you'll see uh, basically uh, plasma lightning coming off of the antennas. And if you're sitting in between the antennas, and this is already a tight fit because the recommended distance between the antennas is around 33 inches. So uh, depending on your size, if you're sitting in between, you know, you're basically sitting in between your knees are coming out to about here and if you get any closer uh, literally you're gonna you're gonna arc and it hurts uh, so you don't want to do that so keeping this at 50% is probably uh, the most recommended and experience tells me that to keep it at 50 I've tried it higher and I got sapped okay of course there's the foot plate and the puppy pads because I've got a puppy right now and this is but here you go so now I'm gonna basically uh, it is plugged in. Um, another really important part about using it is you never want to use it with anything else plugged in. And give it a dedicated outlet. Um, trust me. Uh, keep the wires away from the antenna, and here we go. Oh, one of the things too is uh, Peach over there and Norman. They don't seem to mind it. Uh, Peach actually kind of likes it. She hangs out with me when I'm running it. Okay, so let's go ahead and set this guy up. Uh, the light comes on. It's turned on, and it's at 50/50. And then this is what happens when you turn it on. You can see I'm pulling about three amps right here on the amp meter. I've got the thing set at 30 minutes, about 35, 40 minutes, and off we go. You can start hearing the uh, multi-wave oscillator running. The zapping you're hearing is the sparks coming off of the antenna. You don't see it because the light's on. Uh, peak, watch out, peak, watch out. 
Um, and But you immediately start smelling ozone, because one of the things about this that you really want to do uh, is you want to make sure, I've got a fan over here out, out of uh, out of frame, but i got a fan, and you want to kind of aim the fan at the antenna to kind of keep the ozone from accumulating around your body while you sit there. But I do want to show you uh, the power coming off of this thing, and you can see it right there. And this is at 50%, do so you see the little arcing plasma that's coming off of the, uh, okay, I'm sorry, <laughs> I uh, had my camera too close to the uh, uh, antenna, I just got a shock. But anyway, so it's really important you don't want to get too close to this thing. And uh, within about six inches and you're going to get a shock, I shouldn't even be in here, I'm going to grab something and I want to show you. This is a violet ray antenna, or I'm sorry, a violet ray uh, electrode, or probe I should say, uh, from my, one of my violet ray machines, and it's an argon helium gas mixture inside of a tube. Now you can see this thing, I'm standing really far away, I'm about three feet away, and you can see that it's already picking up the electrical field from the antenna and lighting up the argon. Now if I walk away, you'll see that the bulb all of a sudden, so you can kind of tell based on the number of squares, each pile is 12 inches, that right about here I am standing approximately about three and a half feet from the antenna and I'm already picking up the electrical field. So what happens, and this is the point, is you're sitting in the middle of this big bubble, it's like this big bubble of an electrical field and you're smack dab in the middle of it getting all of the vibrations coming off the spark gap slash pulse modulator. But let me show you the uh, the power that this light. You can see how bright the, the bulb gets. And the actual sparking coming off of the antenna. And that's that right there. And that is the uh, the voltage going through the antenna. And all of that sparking or that is all a frequency. The frequencies are being emitted through that spark. And it's quite powerful. Now the receiving antenna is not as powerful. Obviously it's receiving, but you still you can see that it is actually emitting uh, electrical field. So that's kind of the cool part. I kind of play with this guy. It's not it's not a very big one, but it's kind of fun to play because you can actually see that thing light up and that's kind of cool. But anyway, so that's uh, my multi-wave oscillator. I'm going to go sit in it now for a little while and take a treatment and uh, we'll catch you guys later. Okay, well, welcome back. I hope you enjoyed my demo. Yes, that really is sitting in my living room and yes, it's that loud. Um, and you know what? I've never had a complaint so far. So, uh, But yeah, the idea of using it, if you go back into the original literature uh, of when doctors were using it, the prescription, you know, is sort of like 15 minutes every couple of days. Uh, there are days where I just don't have time to mess with it. So I try to use it around that. Uh, but, you know, and but there I go through periods of time, you know, you can see how big that thing is. It takes up a huge chunk of, of real estate in the living room. So, you know, it's kind of like I don't really there are day, there are times you know, there have been times because I've owned that thing over like 10 years. Uh, but there have been times where I just didn't have room for it, so it was packed up in a closet. Uh, so I go periods of times without even using it, but mostly I try to keep it out. I try to use it uh, because to me, I, I you know personally, my personal opinion, I look at the Lukoski multi-wave oscillator. I look at it as the fountain of youth, you know, along with the other things that I do. I, you know, it, it's it's it, you know again, it's amazing. This and we're here now. We're talking about now. This part of the presentation is about the biological effects. Now, one of the things about understanding um, what it actually really does at a science level uh, Bruno and Tony you know they're quintessential like I said they wrote it all up but I want to just share with you um, the some of the material that has uh, that's that's on this now there's not a lot I mean you know this thing disappeared in World War II it really disappeared and everything that was about it just disappeared with it and so now uh, so all we really have that's available right now on the internet to kind of understand about okay what does this thing actually really do and then, you know, oh, you know, there's a lot about it from like, oh, I want to build one in the technology aspect of it. But I'm more I'm not I'm not really like an electronical engineer kind of mentality. I'm more like, a, oh, let me get my hands on one and I want to tinker with it. That's my my that's my lane I, I drive in. And so there's only really like four different sources of information 
that really will convey the biological effects. And one of them, obviously, is George Zaklowski's own writings. And then there are another gentleman uh, after George Zaklowski, and I, I don't remember what uh, year this was. I got his book. We can take a look at that. Uh, a guy named Mark Clement wrote a book called The Waves That Heal, where he took Zaklowski and he, and he basically put it into practice, using it on people, and documented the results, which is an excellent, you know, that's a really nice body of work that really kind of shows this. Again, the Bob Beck testimony, I'm going to play that. Uh, and then Bruno and, and, and Tony. Now, now I just want to point out, they didn't just write a book about the multi-wave oscillator. They wrote a second book about the biological effects of the multi-wave oscillator. And so we'll be taking a look at that uh, when we get into this. So now the first thing I want to do is talk about George Zaklowski's, um, what he had to say about it. And it's in the book and all of the uh, basic, I'll, so I'm going to share everything I'm sharing with you. Or if I bring up a YouTube video or a website or a book, uh, everything except Tony and Bruno's book, uh, are going to be links for that over in my over in my blog. Okay, so if you want to go do any more research, you want to take a look at something, get a copy of a free book, uh, except for Tony and Bruno's because uh, though that's copyright, and I really want to support those guys. Uh, you'd need to buy one of those. But if you want to take a look at the book Radiation and Waves: Sources of Our Life by George Zaklowski, it's free. Come over to my blog. You can download it. All right. So now in his book, and this was the book where he, he wrote, he kind of considered this book a booklet. He referred to it as a booklet uh, where he just, you know, kind of was like a high, high, the high points. And he wrote uh, another book called The Secret of Life, which has got his entire theory in it. But I just want to, from a standpoint of, well, biological effects, uh, I want to point out just real, you know, I, I don't want to, I can I could do this video in two hours, but I just don't want to. <laughs> That's way too long, but I'm just going to kind of jam through it. Uh, but if you go through his book, then you will see the actual evidence that George Zakovsky documented because, you know, he used this in, in concert with doctors. So uh, he was a scientist, but, you know, he had doctors using his machine and, and they worked in partnership. But a lot of the times you could see where people had, uh, had tumors. Uh, and they would use the uh, uh, Lakowski multi-wave oscillator, and the tumors would shrink or completely go away. Uh, so this is a picture of an ulcer. Same thing. It was healed. Uh, this picture is of a... It's the, this photograph on the left is a, the, the picture of day before treatment began um, around a this 58... I'm sorry, 82-year-old woman. Uh, she's got this ulcer on her, uh, norm, probably due to tumors. And then, basically, there's... Uh, 35 days later, completely healed, gone. Uh, and then, of course, there's, uh, you know, there's, this book was written a long time ago. So, sorry about the pictures. And uh, unfortunately, this guy has a giant tumor on his face. And the, the, the second photo after treatment has it gotten smaller. Uh, and then here's a lady basically had a big goiter. Uh, this is a big problem. You know, 100 years ago, people having goiters uh, and using the Lukowski, it, it was completely eradicated. So, you know, this is the book uh, for George Zaklowski's documented biological effects of the MWO, uh, and you can find that over on my blog. Let's take a quick peek so we can figure out what, when this was written. Okay, this was copyright 1941. So, yeah, uh, 80 years ago, there he is. Uh, he wrote this book to kind of, you know, this was him sharing his, bio, his, his results. The, so now you've got uh, the results directly from uh, George Zaklowski. Now, let's take a look at The Waves That Heal. Uh, this is by Mark Clement, uh, I mentioned earlier. Now, let's see if we can... I don't think that there's a copyright on here. Some of these old books, they just don't have that, you know? It's not like today, everything's got an ISBN. Uh, and so, in this book, uh, you know, it basically is, is this gentleman where he took and he did a short account of the theories of George Zakowski and he documented the results of treatments of plants, animals, and human beings. Okay, so now, if you read this book, uh, it's 62 pages. Uh, then you'll have, you'll get kind of this summary. So I kind of pu pulled this out of the book. Now, and this is basically what's in the book of the Mark Clement who waves that heel. What does this incredible machine do? Well, they took a bunch of patients by the you know, here's their initials, and then this was their illness and their problem, and then they gave them this many treatments, and then over here was the results. So I'm just gonna kind of you know just browse through this thing, but you know here's an individual with acute urinary retention due due to enlarged prostate retention ceased problem went away. Bleeding from uterine fibroids uh, for two years. Standing. Two years. Three treatments. Bleeding ceased. Here's one. Uh, Cellulitis. Sorry. Of nose, of nose with pain. Completely, two treatments. Completely cleared. cleared. Uh, ten minutes in one day. Two treatments of ten minutes in one day. Uh, and then it goes on. And then here's a chronic eczema of axilla. Uh, two treatments. Cleared entirely. 
osteoarthritis, seven treatments, marked improvement after two treatments, stiffness diminished. Uh, here's patient uh, DG, chronic arthritis again, 10 treatments, no cough. I have no idea what that has to do with arthritis, but no soreness, marked improvement. Um, yeah, a lot of arthritis, guys. Let's see if we could find a different one. Uh, yeah, it looked like they had a lot of arthritis patients coming in. Um, not sure what this word is of shoulder. It got better. This one got better. You can just like write down here. Here's the list. And it's in the book, okay? Problem ceased. Cleared entirely. Good improvement. Results good. Improvement, improvement. Good, 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 good. You get my point. Yep. Okay, so that's the biological effects as measured by Mark Clement. And don't know what year, but this has got to be from, you know, 40s to 50, probably 50s, or maybe in the 40s, probably. Okay, and so now um, the next one that I want to kind of share with you is the the testimony by Bob Beck. So let's go ahead. Uh, I, I basically uh, clipped out just the pieces where he talks just about the testimonial, like its use. Uh, I think it's like a three-minute little clip. So let me go ahead and play that uh, and, and kind of just, you know, listen. This is Bob Beck now. This is Bob Beck's one of the founding fathers of bioelectrical magnetics, and, and this is his story about his evaluation of the Lakovsky multi-wave oscillator back in 1962. So uh, here you go. Okay, since this is coming around again, <coughs> I thought those of you who are sort of new to the field might like just a very brief thumbnail history. About a quarter of a century ago, I was the judge, jury, and executioner on every new age device that came through Southern California. That included free energy motors, healing devices, you name it. And in the course of a good year, we had examined maybe 100, 125 devices, and about 99.9% .9 of them were either placebo, garbage, or wishful thinking, hallucination. But once in a long while, we would come across something that was exceptional. And in 1962, it was the Lakowski multiple wave oscillator. Now, I am going to say I reserve the right to change my mind about anything I'm telling you. <laughs> and number two, we wish we'd had someone like Eric Dollard around at the time we were playing with this. But what we did is we built a very small device, small being the size of an attache case, that had the Lakowski antennas driven by a Tesla coil. The first thing I did was call up all of my sick friends, lined them up, and did experiments on them. Couldn't do that today because of FDA. We cured uh, Tommy Harrod's father, who was about to have an amputated leg, diabetic edema. He was out uh, within about a week. He'd gotten a driver's license legally, was walking again. We cured any number of cancer patients, believe it or not. We uh, found that uh, many of these had wound up in the hands of veterinarians. We published the schematics, and the veterinarians were curing cancer in animals that uh, other vets would put to sleep. So. Word would get around, and the veterinarians would bring sick animals to the guy that had it, and uh, they got well. So this was long before the term scalar, longitudinal, soliton uh, buzzwords were floating around. I'm not too sure that anybody thoroughly understands what these mean in the actual universe. But we were getting really stunning results. The animals would respond to this much more rapidly than the human beings. My vice president many years ago in Bechtech was the astronaut Gordon Cooper. We loaned it to him. He had a 15-year-old police dog that had been part of the family forever. Dog was dragging itself around. Its hind legs weren't working. After two days, the dog was up, frisking around, running around the swimming pool. So Gordon would take this box wherever he went, to Washington, Houston, NASA, he was getting people out of wheelchairs. <laughs> but we're not supposed to talk about this, and it took a long time to get that thing back from him a few years ago when we went our separate ways. Now, that was an actuality. Why it works, we don't know. What is electricity? I have graduate degrees, I don't know. But in a year, this was one of the most exciting things that had come along. So, if you found that interesting or amazing because that's you know honestly for me uh, that video came out over 10 years ago uh, and when I saw Bob Beck talk about that that's why I went and bought one 
uh, and and it you know and and that's I've had it ever since. So uh, you know it, it's it's an amazing story. Uh, okay, so now the last one on the biological effects is Bruno and Tony's book itself. Now they wrote a book. Uh, like I said, they wrote two books: one about the machine and one about the effects of the machine. Uh, and it's basically uh, at multi-wave research. It's the biological effects of exposure to multi-wave oscillator uh, oscillator fields. Okay. Now the thing that I want to point out in this book is way down here page 111 um they you know they talk about the machine and everything but they get into when they actually started testing this thing and measuring this thing because they talk a lot about um you know electromagnetic uh, effects on you know cellular uh, structures and so forth but when when you actually really get into this oops jump the gun here page 102 uh then what I want to point out is is one of some of their findings, and one of their findings was is hey this thing when you measure it it puts out a pulsed electromagnetic field which you know obviously you know that it's oscillating that means it's vibrating but it's vibrating at a pulse, <laughs> uh, and that pulse carries frequency so and that's what they really were uh, out to try to figure out was that that's what this thing was doing, um, and and so let's see one of the quotes in here that I think was uh, was is worth sharing uh, is that just pulsed Electromagnetic fields alone, okay, their biological effects, um, if you take a look at this, is pulse electromagnetic fields are part of high-frequency therapy in use in rehabilitation in Europe. I mean, it, this is a, a today modern uh, modality that uh, is in use across the medical field uh, is PEMF, and that's what one of the things that this, uh, this device, the MWO, does is it's a PEMF device. And, and more, okay, and, and just PMF alone uh, in terms of biological effect is that it's used in the treatment of rheumatic, traumatic, respiratory, digestive, dermatological, phlebolic, I guess that's blood diseases, uh, and the mechanism of action is not due to the production of okay, so the mechanism of action is not due to the production of heat, okay, but acts exclusively, uh, you know, by the specific electromagnetic energy up to the infrastructure level with changes in cell metabolism, okay? And it goes on and on and on about, you know, how it actually works uh, specifically in the enzy enzymic, sorry, <laughs> having a moment here, uh, enzymic uh, reactions, activation of hepatic. I should have read this like five times before I tried this. Adrenal functions, I got that. I'm not even going to try this word, um, but <laughs> you get my point, <laughs> all right? Uh, just the PMF action of it uh, is has a tremendous amount of, of effect. And then I uh, made a note here to take a look at page 11, and I wanted to kind of share with you what Tony and, and Bruno wrote about, was that, uh, this is on page 111, one of George Lukowski's theories that the cells of the body could be charged up by applying broadband electromagnetic energy to them. He theorized that if you subject the body to a broad range of electromagnetic harmonics, okay, so now, not only do you have this pulsing, this PEMF action going on, okay, but you're also project, you're actually transmitting energy in a broadband electromagnetic frequency range. So you got two different things going on. And so that was, George, that was George's theory. That's what this machine does. And then when they measured what it did, uh, this was what they came out with was, um, it gets down in here, okay, so blah, 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 Okay, so then it gets down in here and it says, uh, uh, we don't know if Lukowski knew about transmembrane potentials, but he was amazingly close to the truth. If you take Lukowski's charging up of cells to mean hyperpolarizing them, then the theory makes a lot of sense because as already explained above, if you hyperpolarize a cell, then you refuel its ATP supply by driving the sodium potassium pump in reverse. And then what about harmonics? Well, we believe Lukowski was right about that too. The electrical characteristics of the body cells, in fact, all cells, pathogens as well, vary enormously because of changes in electrical permittivity. Oh, sorry, gosh, I'm sorry. And every different type of cell and tissue will absorb EM radiation. Okay, so, you know, I got to say, this book is, is, is worth the read if you're interested in, in what this incredible machine does by these two engineers that studied everything about it. And so, with that said, I just wanted to wrap up that not only do you have, like, case studies documented by Mark Clement, you got testimony by Bob Beck, of course, Lakovsky's own case studies, and then the actual measurement of the device uh, and how it works and, and what's happening at the cellular level. Uh, you know, it is 
pretty strong evidence um, that this machine does what it says it does, uh, especially, <laughs> you know, when Bob Beck says it does. So, you know, it, that's, that is probably the most amazing part of this story. I, I, I hope you stayed, <laughs> stayed this long to hear it because it is clearly the most am amazing part. Now, so let's jump into what about, okay, so now you're interested, right? If you're interested. Hey, you know, well, can you build your own? Obviously, absolutely, you can build your own. There's a couple of guys on YouTube that did build their own, and they, and they kind of show it off in their videos. Uh, and if you want to build your own or if you want to buy one, you want to learn more, all right, come over to my blog, okay? By the way, you know, you guys know, okay, I don't have any, I don't have any affiliations. I don't own any stock or anything in any of these companies. You know, I'm just sharing, okay? This has nothing to do with anything like that. It's about sharing. So now, this is my blog. I want to point you to where you can find this information, uh, you know, about building, buying, and learning more. Okay, so now if you come to my blog, I got different little, uh, you know, areas that are kind of, of my interest that I kind of, kind of do research on and share. Uh, under Electro Healing, I have a page dedicated to George Slikowski right there. Click on that puppy, and then you're going to come to my Lakowski page. Now, my Lakowski page right here is where I'm going to put this video right, right here. Uh, I haven't, you know, of course, finished it. <laughs> I'm going to put the video right here, and then right here are all the links, for, uh, you know, that I would normally put in the video description. I'm just going to leave it all on my blog. It's easier to maintain one site than two. Uh, and so here they are uh, right here is, uh, you know, here's your books by George Lakowski, uh, other books by, on the Lakowski Multiwave Oscillator. If you're interested in, in, in getting uh, those books, some of them are free. Others you have to, uh, you would have to pay Tony for. Uh, and then, of course, talking about building. Okay, let's talk about building. Now, I know there's some of you electrical engineers out there, and you love this stuff. And if you are piqued and curious and, hey, I want to build one, then, okay, right off the bat, you definitely, absolutely, 100% need to buy Tony and Bruno's book. Okay, The Secrets Revealed. That's this guy. Okay, so, and then... Uh, you just go to the website and you just give them. You, it's you know, and you just email them and you can buy the book. Okay. Now the next thing is, is I did. I, you know, I've been scouring the internet for uh, as long as it's been around. Honestly, uh, I was on the internet before the World Wide Web was on the internet, and so uh, one of the things that popped up a few years ago was the actual schematics. Somebody in, uh, I believe it's Italy, uh, created a um, a document. Okay. Um, and, and they wrote a document called the Schema Electrico Original Oscillator uh, on the Multiple Lakowski. Sorry about the accent. And it's, a, it's, it's in a different language, so you're going to be challenged here, but they wrote a book, uh, an ebook about how to build one. And they've got all of the schematics. Okay, Ben, <laughs> and here you go, and you can build it, and here's everything you need to know, uh, and, and all of the different specifics and what types of uh, you know, equipment you're going to need, and there you go. So if you are interested in building one, here are the schematics. Here's the website, the Tony site, Tony and Bruno, and you know, it's gonna you, you, you go from there. Okay, I'm not a, I'm not a build guy. I'm a more of a tinker guy. So now, if you are a tinker person as well, uh, and you're looking to uh, you know you experiment and and in things that will help you stave off the ravages of aging, cure diseases, and all that. By the way, this is all purely for entertainment purposes. None of this is medical advice. Uh, then you know this is where you could purchase these uh, Lakovskis now. In order to purchase Lakovskis, there's uh, here's our, you know it's there's not they're not for sale in very many places, uh, and here's pretty much where they're all this this that's it right. There's one that's not here because it's only got one antenna, and if you read Tony or Bruno's book, uh, they went and they proved that one antenna does not do anything uh, that Lakovsky had intended is completely a waste of time. Uh, you know, sorry guys uh, if you see this, but uh, a one antenna multi-wave oscillator. Uh, doesn't do anything so it's a com you know do not waste your money uh, you need to get the two antenna and really you know when you look at actual pictures of the original uh, Lakovsky's multi-wave oscillator here's the original right it's got double antennas uh, then it's really really important that it really have the same characteristics because you know these things aren't cheap I mean the cheapest one and mine by the way you're probably asking like well, how much did I pay of course you're asking that um, after I learned about the multi-wave oscillator a long time ago, I, I basically camped out on eBay waiting for a used one because I couldn't afford it. Uh, they started back then. We're talking 10 years ago. They started at five grand, and they go all the way up to 25000 And so I kind of camped out on eBay, and about a year and a half later, it took a long time. I finally f 
somebody was finally going to sell used one. And so the one that was for sale used was from this company called Inspiral Technologies. So if you kind of go to their website, you're going to see this is my this is the one I use. Okay, and so that one I don't know what they sell for today. Last ten years ago it was five grand. Uh, and then of course you've got this the newest one here is by a company called Vril. This is Aaron uh, Murakami's website now. Uh, and he started, and this just came up last year. In fact, what's really cool is that Aaron is working. This is the guy that runs uh, Varel. Aaron is, that's his machine, uh, is working with Eric Dollard. If you remember, uh, I'd mentioned Eric, or I mean, I'm sorry, one more. Eric Dollard, this guy right here, well, he's way older now. And he's working with Aaron over here at Varel. And they've replicated an actual working and literally a duplicate of the original one based on the work of Tony and Bruno. And so they're claiming right now that they've got the closest replica, if not a duplicate, of the original MWO. They made their first 20 production run last year and sold them at eight grand each. Uh, they've got another 20 that they're trying to sell this year. Um, and I, I haven't asked uh, Aaron how much he's selling the second run for. Uh, but there's another 20. And by the way, these you know, like I, these things don't, they only make like one a month or something. Uh, I know Inspiral maybe makes one a month and that, you know, there's, there's not a lot of these things out there because um, not a lot of people under, know about this device, but they are now out for, uh, out there for sale. Like, you know, when I first got into it, the only ones that were around selling them was Inspiral um, and Altered had one. And so now you've got these other types of models out there like this guy. Um, and, you know, and, and it's basically got a, it's not really the same design. And one of the things about, you know, if you're, you know, you saw that was like 5,400, right? And if you take a look at some of these other designs, then you're going to notice that they're not, they don't look like the original. And if you really read the book, and I don't mean to, and I honestly, I do not mean at all to disparage any of these other individuals who have who've gone painstakingly to build a multi-wave oscillator. But, you know, but if you read, you guys should read Tony and Bruno's book, okay? Because this doesn't work the same way as the original one. And if you're going to spend that much money, you want something that works. So right now, the closest thing that worked was this one from Inspiral. If you read their website, they'll talk about they met the five key criteria. And then Vril comes out and actually RT17 came out and they built a replica that was almost a duplicate. And but this one is 25 grand. And then Vril comes out and they built a replica. So right now, when you look at like what are the top three right now out there closest replicas to the actual multi-wave it's going to be those guys because these other guys like transformation technologies it's like ikea furniture you know i mean they this one even includes a plasma bulb so it's like kind of this weird kind of hodgepodge rife machine and i don't want to disparage it i think it's like 12 grand um and i'm sure that it does something but you know if you are a purist and you are truly going after the same biological effects right that's what it's all about then I, I would say that you need to kind of just really take a look at all of these six sites. Uh, talk to Aaron, you know, talk to him, talk to the folks over here and kind of just get a feel for uh, what would be the best for you. OK, but that's where to purchase uh, Lakovsky are the here. This, uh, the six sites uh, and my brief overview. And uh, now so the next thing is the lower last thing is really is like if you want to learn more. So now if you did want to learn more uh, about the Lakoski Multiwave Oscillator, now that I've kind of piqued your interest, uh, then right here you can go over to Multiwave Research. This is uh, Tony and Bruno's site, okay? And this they've got a lot more than just selling books here. They've got the history of the Multiwave Oscillator. They've got videos uh, and, and so forth. And they've got, you know, they even did a book on PMF. Uh, I bought all of their books. I, I just, you know, these guys are awesome. And so, and then, so that would be uh, to learn more. You'd go to their site. They've got a lot of information. Again, and then here are some of the best YouTube videos on multi-wave oscillators. If you go and type in Lakovsky multi-wave oscillator in YouTube, you'll get a bunch of videos of just people demonstrating, uh, you know, how it works. But there's three quintessential videos on on YouTube right now that really get into the depth. And one is by Thomas Joseph Brown from Borderland. Uh, and that's a really great video to understand all the different models that were available back in the 70s. Uh, and then, of course, you've got Aaron Murakami, uh, and he basically does a presentation on the actual electronics aspect. So if you're an engineer and you want to build one, you definitely need to be looking at Aaron's videos uh, where he gets really, really, really into the actual technical aspects of it, of course. And then here's that original video right here, the U.S. Psychotronic Association. Uh, and this is that video where I extracted Bob Beck's testimonial. Okay. So... With all of that said, uh, I, I really hope that 
uh, this information was you know was was helpful and entertaining for you uh, I, I just really want to say thank you for watching um, and, and thank you for learning about the Lakotsky multi-wave oscillator I mean it's one of those things where you know this thing almost went into the dustbin of history for one for a few guys and then they've resurrected it and the biological effects are just unbelievable and now that they're available for sale in the market commercially you know that's an amazing comeback story and I hope it keeps going because if all of this stuff is true of what it does you know can imagine how much it can help us help all of us uh, what one last thing I do want to share is that instead of you know there is one more option of buy build there's an option where I've actually seen a couple of, and it just you know surfing around for years I've seen a couple of wellness centers that own them that actually provide treatments so that might be an option if you're interested in trying out uh, a Lakovsky uh, is to just search to see if anybody in your area owns one of these um, and sells treatments you just pay them some money like a chiropractor and you just go in there and try it out uh, other than that you know you're, you're we're at that state in that stage of the story where uh, you're either gonna build or buy okay but lastly I just want to say again say thank you for watching uh, now if you want to learn more about electro healing you want to learn more about Lakovsky um, then come down to my blog it's called the Tinkers Academy and all you need to do to get there is type in tinkers.academy in your URL window on your browser and it'll take you right there to my blog we also have and, and we meaning there's a bunch of folks that are really interested in electro healing bioelectrical magnetic devices that help heal and wellness uh, for living organisms of which we are one uh, then we have an electro healing telegram chat group uh, and that link is going to be below in the video description. Come join our chat. Uh, I try to make a habit of at least posting uh, at least twice a week uh, some just new topic. Let's chat about something new and, and get people's opinion on it and share some information. I have a vast library and I'm always posting books up in there uh, for people to read and download. And, uh, you know, so come on down if you want to learn more about electro healing. Um, and you can join our chat group and, and engage with the rest of us and ask questions. And then I'm in there too if you want to talk to me. Uh, otherwise, come check out my blog. And again, lastly, one more time, thank you for watching, or in Hawaii we say mahalo. Uh, I really appreciate your time, and thank you for watching this video. And uh, and and I'm I'm hoping that you'll carry the story of the Lakoski multi-wave oscillator with you, uh, and that uh, and and hopefully you, you, if you can ever get your hands on one, you know, give it a try, uh, and see how it works for you. All right. Well, hey, thanks a lot, and have a great day. Aloha.